Welcome to ClueCore Omics Explore. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import a normalized data set using the wizard. Using the wizard, you can import normalized data as well as annotations connected to your data set. The wizard can handle a range of file extensions. Examples are tab separated text files with the extension txt and comma separated value files with the extension csv or tsv. The wizard will guide you and help to define which blocks of a file are data and which are annotations. This is best illustrated with an example. This is the txt file we are going to import. In this file we have 12 samples as columns, sample annotations for descriptions of the samples, 50 rows of variables, and 3 variable annotations for descriptions of the variables. Let's start. We open the file with the Open with Wizard option from the File menu. That opens up the wizard, and we step through the wizard using Next and follow the instructions. First question, is this a raw count matrix? No, this is a normalized data. Press Next. Next question, select Separator. This is a tab separated file, so this is correct. Press Next. Next question, matrix orientation. The rows are variables, this is correct. We can also handle transpose files with samples as rows. Press next. Select top left data cell. Then press next. Select top right data cell. For a data set with many columns, it might be necessary to scroll to the right to identify the upper right cell of the data. The whole data block will then be marked in blue. We have now defined which part of the file contains the measured data. Some instruments generate multiple columns for every subject, and the option not to import every column can be very useful. Use a spin box to select only every second column. The color code is updated to reflect the new setting. But in this case, we want to import all columns, so we set the spin box to 1 again. And then we press Next. Select Variable Annotation Headers. If you select the wrong cell, just click on it again to undo. Press Next. Select Sample Annotation Headers. Note that you're not forced to import all roles with sample annotations. We have now defined the three main parts of the file, sample information, variable information, and the measured data. Press Finish. The data set opens up as a PCA plot, Principal Component Analysis Plot. The data is now ready to be analyzed. Here we see our 12 samples. Here we have the sample annotations that we can use to color our samples. In the table view, we can have a look at the underlying data. Remember to save the data. A good choice is to use the GE data format. This will make it faster to open the data set next time. Your data file can have different layouts. Here is another example. In this case, you don't have any sample annotations except from Unique ID. You can edit the file by inserting a blank row to make room for a sample annotation, but you can also import the file as it is. This file is imported in a very similar way. The first five steps are identical. When it's time to mark the samples, we mark the first sample directly. Press Finish. The dataset opens up with only one sample annotation called Sample Annotation 1. You can change this name. In this case, you need to add sample annotations in a separate step. Maybe you already have a separate annotation file, or you can create one. This is described in the tutorial, Add Annotations to a Dataset. If you are now ready to start analyzing your data, we recommend you have a look at the tutorial, Identify Discriminating Variables. 
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching and good luck with your analysis.